Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss some symbols and their meanings when graphing linear equalities. So, here we have a graph that's a piecewise graph. You see that it's split into two different chunks, but it's comprised of linear equalities. So we have a couple of different symbols here. We have this arrow, we have some closed dots, we have some open dots. Let's discuss what they mean. First, let's take a look at this arrow here. What that usually is taken to mean is that the behavior of the function will continue in the general trend of what you already see. to negative infinity or positive infinity, depending on which direction the arrow is pointing. To negative infinity or positive infinity. Okay. So, what about these, these filled in dots? Well, these are endpoints. They're closed endpoints. endpoints of their respective lines, but since they are filled in, that notation is typically taken to mean that the function is defined at those endpoints. So, endpoints at which function is defined. All right, well, what about these open circles, these are a little different. And we see that one of them is an endpoint, like these closed guys. But this one is right in the middle of the line. So what does this mean? Quite simply, they are points on our graph at which the function is not defined. So, in this case, we see that this point directly above our open circle is defined, and this one is not. So, if you're moving along this line, you can get infinitely close to this open circle, but as soon as you actually reach this x value, you jump up to this point. As for this, we see that there is no point above or below it for which there is a closed circle. So that simply means a hole, sometimes referred to as a removable discontinuity. So what this means is that you can approach this point from either direction and you can get infinitely close to it. So if this were at the point 2, negative 1, for example, then this graph would be defined for 2.1, 2.001, 2.00001, .001. but as soon as you get to 2, function is no longer defined. So a few other pieces of notation that are used in the context of graphing linear equalities. When we're discussing the domain of a graph, you'll sometimes see this piece of notation. This is simply shorthand meaning all real numbers. So anything between negative infinity and positive infinity that is a real number is covered by this. Similar piece of notation is this, this boldface z. What this typically means is the set of all integers. So negative 513, 1, 27. All the integers from negative infinity to infinity are included in this set. And these are some of the more common pieces of notation that are used. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed symbols and their meanings in graphing linear equalities.